welcome back to Jared Gunson TV. Today I wanted to share a tone that I've created for you. Now in this patch, forget banks, forget uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is your guitar rig. You get a tuner up here. You get a tap tempo here. You get a chorus on and off, delay on and off, and a reverb on and off. And I'll demonstrate that for you now. Now let's have a look here at the bottom line from numbers one to five. These are no longer banks. The first three you are going to use to mold your tone. Number three is going to go between an orange high gain amp and a natural clean amp. Then number one is going to decide whether you have it clean or whether it goes through an option of two overdrive pedals. I've currently got this set to a blues driver and an OD1. Now when I push down number one here, this is going to now flip from the clean and it's going to now insert this, which is your two overdrives, a blues driver and an OD1. And now the OD1. And now it doesn't matter which distortion pedal you have activated here. The OD1 is yellow and the blues driver is blue. If this goes back to blue, you're on the clean amp. If this is white, you're running through here. And now what's great about this section up here is this is your master so it's always running. So I'll apply some reverb now so you can hear that. And back to clean. Now the next button at the bottom over here is number four, which is a simple solo boost. Number three is now going to bypass this entire section and to either run you through an orange high gain amp or a clean or an overdrive, depending on how you set one or two, like this. Now keep in mind, it doesn't matter how you set one and two, if you flip number three from blue to red, you bypass the clean and, and overdrive pedals. And 
and once again your effects up here apply to there to number three And solo boost on number four. And now the final feature of the ultimate tone patch is the link between 5 and the expression pedal. As soon as you touch the expression pedal, it will activate the pedal effects. And using number 5, you can dial between pink, which is a wall, or green, which is a dive bomb. Demonstrate it like this. The ultimate tone patch to get you started on the Boss GT1000 in studio or live. Please be sure to set your output to record and I'm going to demonstrate quickly now how to do that for you brand brand new guys. If you just go to menu, in and out setting, output, select recording sub out recording and just for some more information for those of you who are interested I'm using the original speaker type flat short and seven centimeters away or else it gets a little bit bright for me and what's really cool is you can send the sub which is the XLRs out there to the front of house and you can go in here and change this to your heart's desire should you decide you want a 2x12 going out front? If you go back to main, see how it stays at original. Cool, and as always guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Jerry Gunson TV here. I hope you guys find some joy out of this patch. Share it with your mates. Um, send me some demos you do with it as well. I'd love to hear what you guys have come up with. Cheers man, have a good weekend. Thanks very much for watching guys. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to the guys from Boss for always giving me some awesome gear to play with. See you next time. Bye.